So it's been three weeks since the 2020 presidential election and Donald Trump is still crying about election fraud that just doesn't exist. But this green onion flavored Czech cereal from South Korea is behind one of the biggest cases of real election fraud in modern history. So does fraud taste as horrible as it sounds? Stick around to find out. <laughs> Picky Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Hey, this is Rob the Picky Daddy, kicking off the 2020 holiday season with another review of the best stuff to waste your money on. Remember back when you were a spoiled bratty kid and you threw a raging temper tantrum in the supermarket because your mean old mom wouldn't buy you the green onion flavored cereal? Wait, that never happened? Well, for kids in South Korea, it did. Probably. Picture it. It's the year 2004. George W. Bush wins re-election despite a serious write-in campaign to vote for Pedro. The Boston Red Sox broke the space-time continuum by finally winning the World Series after an 86-year-old curse. And South Korea experienced the biggest case of voter fraud in the history of breakfast food. You see, back then, the crack marketing team at Kellogg's ran an internet election to decide the new president of Czech's world or something like that. There were only two candidates on the ballot, the lovable and delicious chocolate and the mean green onion. It was so obvious that chocolate was going to win that even Kanye West decided to skip the race. Thinking that chocolate would easily defeat the big bad green onion, Kellogg's proceeded to make tons of chocolate checks in preparation for its inevitable inauguration. Ah, uh, but Kellogg's forgot to take into account those pesky internet trolls <laughs> that were hard at work making sure that chocolate was defeated. And in fact, as you can see here, Green Onion actually won the election in a landslide. Or so everyone thought. Kellogg's freaked out and tried to claim that their own election was rigged, threatening to invalidate thousands of legally cast ballots. Sound familiar? When Kellogg's went ahead and named Chocolate the winner, a mass public outcry ensued over the obvious breakfast coup. Not even Rudy Giuliani bleeding streaks of chocolate could quell the public's rage. For years, green onion checks served as a symbol of mistrust in the government in South Korea, until this year when Kellogg's finally relented and acknowledged green onion as the rightful winner of that 2004 election. And they started making green onion checks for real. And as a proud believer in democracy, I gladly pick some up on Amazon. And so here they are in all their Soylent Green glory. I just hope they're not actually made from people. Now, I have no idea what it says on the box here, but my guess is, eat this and die, stupid American fool. Thankfully for you, I am a stupid American fool. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it tastes. Wow. Wow, so it definitely does taste like green onion, but there's also that breakfast cereal sugar taste that's there too. Um, I never thought a breakfast cereal could be both savory and sweet at the same time. This is definitely one of the weirdest things I've ever eaten. But now that's just eating it dry. The real test now is putting it in milk. Don't do it! All right, here we go. Wow. Well, that's the real experience right there. Wow. Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever tasted anything that weird. Not sure I want to taste that again. Oh, in fact, I'm gonna to need to uh, burn the taste out of my mouth right now with some Irish whiskey. Yeah, and this is not a, an advertisement for Jameson, by the way. <coughs> oh, oh, wow. Now, if you've seen other Picky Daddy videos, you know that we actually need a real expert taste tester to really give the final verdict. I wonder if we have one in the house today. Oh, look who's here. 
Come sit down, my boy. Okay. Today we're checking out this Lee Onion flavored Czech cereal from South Korea. Let me give, don't wait, gotta give you the milk. All right, dig in. Tell me what you think of that. Is that delicious or what? I don't think it is. No? Wait, where are you going? I'm just going to set that aside and I'm going to run to the kitchen because I need a whopper. Well, I guess this only works for kids in South Korea. Not so much here in America. So what have we learned here today? Well, I think it's that widespread election fraud just isn't worth it because it tastes really gross. But if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, mmm, I gotta have that, or you're just a vindictive type that wants to ruin a child's morning, I put a link down in the description so you can go buy some for yourself on Amazon and have it shipped to you directly from South Korea. So if you like this video or just wanna see me eat more disgusting things, or me, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I mean, do it with feeling, like hit it with a hammer hard. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna go slither away and look for the next best thing to waste my money on. So till then, this is Rob the Picky Daddy. Stay safe, wear a mask, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Picky Daddy, Daddy, Daddy.